today I have messed up pretty bad. I have a lo-fi beat pack that is due in about a day and a half and I have not started making it at all. Another problem is that I also don't know how to make lo-fi. Um, <laughs> it is 11 past 2 p.m. I have approximately like 24 hours to learn how to make lo-fi. Otherwise, I cannot meet the deadline. The other problem is I have not recorded a video for this week. So I thought, well, why limit yourself? Why not both? I got a deadline to meet, so best get started on the melody or something, right? For the melody, Lo-Fi uses a lot of pianos or guitars in the main melody and for counter melodies uses woodwind instruments. So people like Krupler and stuff like that use clarinets and flutes pretty often. We're going to be using Spitfire Audio Soft Piano because it's the most common one that I found. Problem is, a lot of these melodies have piano in them and I can't, I can't play piano. So we're going to have to just see what I can come up with. That sounds pretty good. No? I don't know. It sounds good to me. Let's try and record it. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Okay. What was the next chord? All right. It's like 1 a.m. when I'm recording this, but... Look how happy I look. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for what? I recorded one chord. I did one chord and I'm like, I'm like this. Oh man, it's just cute, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, moving on. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Okay. What was the next chord? I almost got it, I almost got it, I almost got it, okay, that's fine, we can work with this, we can work with this, we can work with this. Okay, that's the wrong note there. Okay, let's fix it up, let's fix it up. this particular preset and Omnisphere. That sounds pretty nice. I've also added these effects to the piano. All right, now for the counter melody. I messed up on the second note. This is not gonna work. I've just changed the velocities a bit and then moved stuff around. So let's see what it sounds like now. I like how the counter melody mirrors the piano in this. I don't know. I think I'm going to do the bass line now, though. Okay. try and do the kick and the drums first 
For drums, I'm probably going to keep it pretty simple. Just the main thing is that they have to be off time and humanized so it doesn't sound like a robot made it, like some of the trap production and even drill beats that are out right now. Some of these are very out of time. <laughs> But I guess that's kind of the point, right? I think. I don't know. I think that's the point. Maybe do the hats next. I selected two hi-hats and then just put the same um, processing that I did on the snare. So some TAL reverb, some vintage warmer, crystal clear, and EQ, and a compressor. That's about it, really. to fix the notes because that just was not in time at all. I can't wait to watch this back and then scream. Sounds good to me. Kick. I was thinking something like um I think we had some vinyl crackle now. Surely. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this on there. You can see all of the lo-fi drum kits I've downloaded trying to make this. Uh, downloaded so many lo-fi drum kits and I'm only using like five sounds. It's, I think it's time for the bass though. I forgot what I played. Ah, uh, I forgot what I played. Um, let me try and remember. What I might do is have one of the bass guitars um, be staccato for the first note, and then the other one be a sustained note. I think I'll, I'll probably do that, yeah. Sounds good to me. and I've made like half of one beat. It's not going well. I listened to a lot of Krupa and then a lot of his songs, there was some sort of clarinet or flute or trumpet, muted trumpet, something like that. I think I'm going to choose clarinet for this one because it seems to be the one that fits the most. <laughs> Got the last note wrong but i think that works so let's just try and record that in quickly That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. a couple of grace notes and I changed the velocities a little bit and I moved some note positions because I think I played something else wrong but other than that pretty good honestly I'm I'm having quite a bit of fun with this because obviously it's really difficult to click drill hi-hats in the piano you can't really be like 
I mean, you can, but I'm just not that good, so I can't do it. I just normally click everything in, like you've seen. But I'm having a lot of fun just messing around with the piano and just seeing what comes up, you know? It's quite fun. the beat done you know i've just remembered i have to do this another three times before tomorrow Pain. i don't know what i'm doing if you haven't realized already i side chained the drums to the melody so that the melody ducks a little bit when the snare and the kick hits i didn't want it on every single note so i'm probably going to disable the limiter on some parts <laughs> So quickly arranged the beat what i did was quick chorus all right chorus main hook whatever you want to call it i have no idea how to arrange the five beats i also added another melody to the piano during the verse or whatever So what I'm probably going to do now is add an Ozone 9 onto it and another Vintage Warmer. And all I've done on Ozone 9 is I've added a Maximizer and I've turned the threshold down a little bit and I've turned the ceiling down a bit. And yeah, I guess we should just listen to the final beat. I might put like a graphic over it, like some sort of like an MAG or studying or something. I think the most important thing for this genre is if it can be played in the background of doing something, then I think it's probably a good lo-fi beat. I think it needs to be inoffensive and easy to listen to basically. But yeah, let's listen to the beat and see what I could have done better. 